All right, we're starting playoff match number four, drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. Welcome to playoff match four here at Butter Bot Battle. All these teams, regardless of the outcome of this match, will play another one, but let's tune into this one, 76-17, correctly leaving their area and grabbing a cone. They'll be ready as we enter teleop period. Oh wait, they've scored it. What a great move. 42-72 also exiting and scoring additional game pieces during that time. We now move into teleoperated period where the human controllers have picked up their robot that their team designed and built this past season. We'll have to keep a close eye on all of them as they move around the field. Score is currently 36 or 37 to 40. Very tight as we exit Autonomous. 49-26, that's Galactic. They're, for, they're this school team from Columbus, that really long arm. We have to keep a close eye on as volunteers to make sure we don't get whacked up on the side. 74-57, that's super duper. Traversing around the center of the field to score cubes for their team. Remember, the points are the same. Two for the bottom, three for the mid, and five for up top. Lynx can still generate points for your alliance, but we don't need them for ranking points anymore. Still valuable part of your team. 76-17, that's just Robo Blazers from University High School. Nimbly waiting for their alliance member to get out of the way so they can score where they want to filling in those grids in a certain location since they'll know later on they'll be hastily trying to stuff in a couple more points before the end of the match. 74-54 delivering a cone to the top part of the grid. A little bit short, so they'll get, spend a little bit of time. They're trying to minimize that cycle time between picking up a game piece and using it. 74-57 over there in the red player station, able to pick up a cone for their Alliance team member, dragging it across the field, but that will be fine as long as they can score it in any place on their grid. And remember, game piece doesn't matter, but where it sets is. Checking back in on the center of the field, some bumper and bumper action is allowed as long as it's kept to a minimum. At this point, human players are just tossing game pieces onto the field, hoping that in those final moments, either team can grab the nearest game piece and place it in their grid for a few extra points. We now move into the last 30 seconds, just as you are familiar from playoffs and qualification matches, they'll start making their way towards the charge station. They want it to be in a level configuration, also known as engaged, which has many robots on top. Blue Alliance has two, they're working to balance it. 10 seconds remaining. Red Alliance has currently two as well, they've got seven. Both teams are pretty happy. We'll have to see how these scores total up in a few last seconds. That was the end of playoffs. Match four here at Boiler Bot Battle. And here are your scores for playoff match four. Your winners are the Red Alliance. Like I stated at the start, we'll see both of these teams again. Alliance three continuing in the upper bracket. We'll see them next at match eight. Alliance six again in the lower bracket for match six. Both teams will play another match. We'll see you soon after this short break.